Howdy y'all. I don't know what that was. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every week. Today's video is Amazon haul. I'm sharing a ton of home finds as well as fashion finds, accessory, even travel finds. Sometimes when you order from Amazon, you take a risk and come in. Quality of something can be bad. Somebody hypes it up too much and then you get it and you're like, this is bleh. I'm not doing that to you guys. I'm literally sharing with you guys my favorite products. <laughs> Break this up into categories. I'm gonna start off with home products. One of those things that you don't know you need until you have it. A stair basket. This one especially because the tone just goes so perfectly with my home. I have it right on my stairs and it blends right in. Cut out here so it nestles perfectly on this step. And if you're somebody that lives in a two-story home, you know there's constantly things that are supposed to be upstairs that end up downstairs and vice versa. Or when you get packages, it's like annoying to make multiple trips up and down the stairs and then things end up out of place. And then for the longest, I would just collect everything that needed to go upstairs on the stairs, but then that would look messy. So it's just so convenient to have the basket right there at all times. Then anything throughout the day, I'll put in the basket at the end of the day or in a few hours, I'll take all that stuff upstairs in one trip and I don't have to make multiple trips up and down the stairs. This one also has a little handle. I've come to the realization that I truly believe I have like undiagnosed ADHD. So baskets just make my life so easy compartmentalizing things so that I can just stay focused and clutter free because clutter also drives me crazy. But if it's my clutter, it doesn't. It's weird all that to say baskets have been my best friend so i got these clear bins from amazon they come in a set of four is so nice and there's just these big plastic bins like this i have the other two upstairs i didn't want to bring them all down but right now i just use it to store new makeup that comes in in pr so i have a bin for eyes lips and face but honestly you could use these for anything these would also be great for like pantry storage refrigerator storage i love baskets so much if you have multiple baskets for different things it's just a great way to dump different categories of products in and then like you don't even have to keep the basket super organized but since you have like bins designated to stuff it just visually makes everything look way more organized and in place and less cluttered baskets are my best friend moving on to kitchen products i definitely should have wiped these down they are the cutest little syrup dispensers for my coffee bar i have one for hazelnut and another one for caramel this is what they look like they come in a really nice glass bottle and then i love the gold detailing up here i want to get more of these for just like other things like i'm trying to think of what i could probably use this as a soap dispenser too that would be so cute. The glass comes clear, but it comes with a set of sticker labels of different syrups. Next up in the home category, my Instapod. You can obviously get these anywhere, but I just got mine from Amazon. I love this tool so much. I keep it out on my countertop. It has a rice cooking setting, which I use often. It's basically a rice cooker, pressure cooker, slow cooker. You can even saute things in there. Like it does everything in one. So it really eliminates the need for a lot of other kitchen gadgets. It's perfect for the person that doesn't like to order out, but you may be on the go and you may not always have the most time to cook the most extravagant meal. Okay, also in the category of like organization at home, I have this little rolling storage rack. I keep this in my beauty room to store my setting sprays, eye pencils, brushes, things like that that I need to like roll around as I film in different areas. I've also seen people use it for storing their laundry detergents and kind of sliding it in between the washer and dryer. You could honestly use it for so many things. It's so convenient and I love how slim it is. So it can fit area that you may need it and you can roll it out as you need it. And it lets you maximize the space because there's three tiers in it. So you can stack the products on top of each other. I have a lot of clothes and minimal storage space and I go through my clothes regularly and I'm constantly donating and figuring out what I don't use. Even with doing all that, I still run out of storage very quickly. So I got this two tiered clothing rack and boy, have I been loving it so much. I like to use this rack for storing all of the clothes that I want to wear for the season. So right now I have all of my winter clothes on it. I love that this rack is able to hold like all of my winter clothes, which is a lot of heavier jackets and blazers, but it doesn't weigh it down and it doesn't feel flimsy at all. It feels very secure in the spot that it's in. So if you're somebody that's limited on space and you need an extra clothing rack to store a lot of clothing, I'm telling you that is a rack for you. Next, I got a new air fryer from Amazon and I've been loving it. We all know that air fryers, you can get them anywhere. And if you don't have one, you should get one. But Alex and I wanted a slightly bigger one to be able to cook more pieces of chicken. It's the perfect size for fitting extra food, but also not being too bulky to where you have no place to store it. A cool thing about this air fryer too is that it comes with a rotisserie rack that you can actually 
use it in the air fryer like cooking mini chickens rotisserie style on the air fryer I feel like that would be phenomenal I also prefer this one over my previous one because it's way easier to clean I find the food comes off so easily off the rack then the next home item I already talked about this in one of my vlogs but it is truly a game changer if you're somebody that has a lot of jewelry and accessories it's a jewelry armoire but it also doubles as like a full-length mirror you just hang it over your door and it opens up it even has built-in lighting and it just makes it so easy for you to see all of your jewelry pieces it makes your jewelry super accessible so that you're able to maximize all of the accessories that you have know what you have and then I like it especially because it doesn't take up any drawer space also not bulky so it's not going to take away square footage or the footprint of your bedroom or beauty room or whatever it was about $125 but truly the best $125 I've spent especially for the amount of accessories and all that that I have I highly 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 recommend it oh my gosh I truly had no idea how much home stuff I had all right next in the home category is this hyper tiller now, I'm sure you've seen this recommended a lot if you don't know what it is it's basically a thing that you keep in your freezer and anything hot that you make that you want to make cold so if you want to make iced coffee you can pour the coffee directly in here shake it up and it's going to make it super cold within like 12 seconds this is also great for like say you have a bottle of white wine that you just bought but it's not chilled yet you can pour some in here it'll chill it and then you pour it in your glass and it's good to go without having to add ice to it or water it down but the trick with this read the instructions because i went through two of these and i was like why the heck do people rave about these like they both cracked on me so when you get this read the instructions and make sure not to overfill it with the water that's supposed to create the freezing effect because if you overfill it once you freeze it it's going to crack the bottle make sure you follow the directions so that way you can actually enjoy this product and it won't break on you another home product alex and i rearranged his office we're still in the process of finishing it but we found the perfect couch that also works as a bed it's beautiful it's the most gorgeous cognac leather color it is so comfy as a couch and also to sleep on it folds down into a bed super easy and it's just great for any space where you want a couch but if you have guests you also kind of want to make this space very multi-purpose like this would be like the perfect couch for an apartment space too you could have it as a couch but then if you randomly have guests you have a place for them to sleep that's a little bit more comfy than like laying sideways on a couch <laughs> alex's office chair is also from amazon and it is so comfy i want to say it was like 70 dollars. quality feels great it rolls around really nice i like that it has arms it has several different colors they have a black a gray i believe a brown i want to order one so bad because it's so comfy but i don't feel like any of those colors work well with the colors in my beauty room so i'm kind of waiting until they come out with like maybe a white one now moving on to some accessories first off i have this travel bag it kind of reminds me of the base travel bag just like the color this would work so great as a gym bag as a carry-on bag i'm going to tulum i'm hoping that i can fit everything that i need in here because i really don't want to carry around like huge luggage i want to just be able to fit everything in here there is a possibility it might be hard but if there's a will there's a way so the cool thing about this bag too is that the bottom compartment opens up so you can store stuff down here like shoes i could probably fit my makeup bag down here so that's really nice and then then there's pockets in the front that velcro shut you have pockets on the side there's also a zipper pocket in the back and then this little part right here where you can slide that on top of your luggage and then it also comes with this little makeup pouch and this strap to wear over the shoulder the gold detailing on it is so pretty these little packing bags I guess for your shoes I have not traveled with this yet but I am very excited to and there's some extra pockets inside the bag as well very excited about that to be honest Katie Fawn is the one that sold me on this if she recommends something from Amazon I'm immediately going to her storefront and ordering it so Thank you, Katie, for putting me on to this. Then this has been one of my most used Amazon purchases recently. And it is this little key wallet. Look at how beautiful this is. This looks way more expensive than what it is. The quality of it is so nice. So it opens up like this and it stores your keys. I found that keychains were so annoying because like you're fumbling through your keys, trying to figure out which key is to what. And the cool part is, is you can close it right up, put it in your bag, and then it won't scratch up all the items in your purse as easily, beside this part that like kind of sticks out. There's also a slot here and back here where you could put your ID, you could put your cards to make it super easy to just grab this and go on the go. The reason I got this is because I was eyeing the Louis Vuitton key wallets, but I was like, am I really gonna use it? Like, will I enjoy it? Will it be functional? 
So I got this one to test out before getting that one. And then now I'm like, why would I spend like $500 on that when this works just as good and it was 13 bucks and it's just as cute. This is by far one of my favorite Amazon purchases. They also have a really pretty brown one, but when I initially went to order it, it was not prime, but I recently checked and it is prime now. So I would also recommend that one. And the next accessory, this was my favorite during the holiday season. And it is this little glitter bag. It amps up any outfit. You can even use this as an aesthetic evening bag. Quality of it is really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. The rhinestones like don't look cheap. I just feel like it's a perfect accessory to have it in your closet. Cause you never know when you need a really pretty sparkly, bougie looking bag. I believe that this is supposed to be a dupe for like a really expensive bag. I don't know the brand, but like I would never spend crazy amount of money on that bag when I could get this one from Amazon for like 20 bucks. Moving on to more fashion and hair accessories. I got the cutest claw clips from Amazon. Again, these were my favorite for the holidays, but I still have been using them recently. I can do an updo to save my life. So whenever it's a special occasion, like a wedding or something where I wanna do an updo, I'll use these claw clips to kind of secure my hair and then I'll just kind of like curl the ends and pin them and make it look special occasion updo -y. But these really change the game. Like they make it so easy. I can insert pictures of a couple of updos that I've done with it. And they're also just really pretty if you want to pin your hair back and just kind of have like some waves look really pretty from behind because obviously the claw part is like pushed into your hair. So all you see is like really pretty sparkly detailing poking out. Pearl one is also so cute. I think these are essential for just having on hand for a special occasion. And if you don't have time to get your hair done, you can use this to spruce up your hair a little bit. Amazon really has some of the cutest watches that look so bougie. So I have these two right here. I have this little square gold one with the rhinestones on on the side. I love the look of this one so much. I kind of want to put it on now. Look at how expensive that looks. Katie Fawn also influenced me to get this and I got it and I was not disappointed. Not even in the slightest. It's so pretty and I just love the way it looks on the wrist and I wear the crap out of this. I've also accidentally worn it into the shower a couple times and it's still going strong and I have been really wanting a two-toned watch. So I got this one and I like how this one's really small and kind of dainty. So it's great when I want to accessorize with the watch but I don't want it to be like Bam! I love it. And then you can obviously wear it with gold or silver jewelry. With that, I've gotten more silver pieces from Amazon. This set, you guys, they also have it in gold too. So if you don't like silver jewelry at all, you can get this set in gold. And when I tell you it comes with so many earring options, it's not even funny. I'm gonna leave it on the screen because I can't pick up each of these individually and show you guys. So these are all the earrings it comes with. These smaller like twist tubes. These little, the cutest little croissant hoops these gorgeous twisted hoops. I could not believe the quality of these because they feel so nice, especially for the price point. Like, this set also comes with these little huggy hoop options. They have some with little studs on them and basic silver ones, a bag full of earring backs. Then another jewelry piece I picked up is this really pretty silver ring. I got this to wear on my middle finger whenever I'm wearing silver jewelry. I also wear it on this finger. But it's such a pretty ring to even wear with your gold pieces, especially if you're using that mixed metal watch, it'll kind of give you an excuse to mix up gold and silver. I also got these earrings. I have them in both silver and in gold. These are my favorite earrings. They're like the perfect chunky hoop. If you wanna add a pop to your outfit, you want it to stand out, but you don't want anything too large or too over the top. The gold ones I've worn the crap out of and they've stayed perfectly intact. They haven't tarnished. I'll actually insert a clip of the gold ones. I also got these thin hoops. They are just the prettiest hoops. These I like when I want my hoop to be slightly bigger, but I don't want it to be too chunky or too intense. Just adds a perfect amount of flair while still looking very dainty and pretty. And the color of the gold is absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you, if you're looking for cute gold jewelry, Amazon has some of my favorite. All of the gold jewelry that I get is always either 14 karat or 18 karat gold plated, which I love because then I'm able to wear it frequently I can even get away with sometimes showering with it and not have to worry about it tarnishing super quick. This is another piece that I picked up. It's this Pavoy paper clip chain necklace. Again, I love pieces that add subtle statement but aren't overpowering or like take over. So these are the two necklaces that I never take off. So I like having a piece to layer with them. If I want to have a statement but I don't want it to be too much, I'll use this one. And then this is my more statement piece 
which unfortunately shop that I got it from no longer sells it. I also got that same exact necklace in silver again for the days whenever I'm wearing silver jewelry, but I could also kind of mix metals with this and wear it with the necklaces that I do have. All right, I got a lot of jewelry. I didn't realize it, but to go with all of my silver earrings, I got this pack of necklaces and this is by Nautica. This whole set was only $14 and the quality and the feel of these pieces is impeccable. I'm gonna show you each one individually. Favorite, I love the detailing on it. It is just so pretty and so shiny and eye-catching. The weight of the necklace feels like super high quality. Springbone one, again, the shine on that is ridiculous. And last but not least, a thicker paperclip one. This definitely gives more of like that grungy statement. If you need some silver chains in your life, get this set. I'm telling you for like 14 bucks, it was like I was robbing Amazon because how are you gonna give me all these great quality pieces for such an affordable price? All right, now let's move on to clothing finds. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to Tulum. So this Nordstrom bag is actually full of the Amazon purchases. Then I have this shirt that I don't think I've talked about yet. Cutest top ever. It's like perfect for the springtime. I even have worn this in the winter time and I just put like a coat over top of it because I love the asymmetrical thing going on here. It's this really cute ribbed one shoulder tank top. The color of this creamy nude is just so pretty, but the back is completely open. It's just so pretty. This is so cute for the summertime. You can even wear this to the beach with like your bikini. Obviously, if you're not comfortable with the open back, I typically wear this with like a blazer or an overshirt. And then like if you have it drooping, it's really pretty because you can kind of get a peekaboo of the open back without it being like, boom, your whole back's out. I need to look up a thesaurus before filming. That way I can already have it in my brain. Some extra adjectives beside pretty, super cute, need this, or just, it's just hard. When you talk about a lot of products, you start to get like, lazy and you just start repeating adjectives. So that top is really cute. Then, are you guys ready for this? I'm gonna insert a picture of it and then I'll show you guys how it looks on. It's the most stunning little creamy. It looks like this. It has these cutouts on the side and then it has a complete open back. It comes to a nice like midi length and then the sleeves have these little tassels to tighten it. And the back also has a little tassel so that you could cinch it in at the waist. It looks so cute on. Obviously you would wear this with a bathing suit you're not gonna wear please don't wear this by itself um but i just think it's so cute and i think it'll be perfect for tulum if we're just like hanging out on the beach maybe hanging out on the beach and then something really cute to put on to go to a restaurant i love it sure much and then i also got this little sarange in black just a basic sarange to wear to any of my bathing suits this was on sale for only six dollars it's just a basic sarange really cute then next you guys these bikinis literally blew me away they are so flattering they have so many colors to choose from i got these two but I wanna go back to the seller and get more of them because I never feel confident in bikinis, but these actually look so cute. So first off, look how pretty this olive green is. And then it has the cutest tortoiseshell detailing. It's this little triangle string bikini. Bottoms have that same little tortoiseshell detailing. I love the colors of this, like the olive green with this muted tan. And then this next one, if you're going on vacation, I feel like this is such a cute piece. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. Do you see how cute that little detailing is there? And then the bottoms have that same little detailing on the side. Tell me that's not the cutest thing with the little charms on it. Like you've gotta be honestly kidding me. I love the texture of the white as well. Cutest little bikini options. Did I mention that both of those sets were only $20? Normally it's like $20 for the top and then an extra 20 for the bottom. Another clothing item that I completely forgot to mention is this bodysuit. Look at how like snatched and cute this is. I love the color of it as well. It is so soft, so stretchy, just like the perfect basic bodysuit to own. I got mine in a size small, but I kind of wish I what it's sized up. It is supposed to be, I think, a little bit more fitted to really snatch everything in. Fun fact about me, I have the wingspan of like somebody that's like six foot and I'm only five foot three. So with that, a lot of long sleeve tops just like are not as long as I would like them to be because I just feel like they like start to get really uncomfortable on my arms. Beside that though, it is so soft. It's like double lined. You could get away with wearing this without wearing a bra. I've heard some people refer to this top as a Skims dupe. Definitely recommend getting it. They have it in several colors. They have black. We have it like in a creamy color. They are sold out of a lot of the colors, not gonna lie. I would just add this to maybe like an Amazon wish list or add it to your cart and then just put it in the save for later category. And then you could just keep checking until it's back in stock. 
that's what i do all right now let's move on to just some beauty products and beauty find first off we have rosemary oil mine is dirty because i use it i talked about this in my recent hair care video this is a game changer if you have like a sparse hairline or if you have um, like a sparse scalp this is really good for scalp health and hair growth for bald spots honestly any oil but rosemary oil is very good for that so what i like to do is about once a week or at least once a month i like to section off my hair and just put this through my scalp and then massage that in and let it sit for a couple hours and i'll do my regular shampoo and conditioner but it's really good to massage this into your scalp because again it helps stimulate hair growth i also like to put some of this in the rice water spray that i make and i spray that in my hairline another hair product i picked up fakai multitasking hair cream i got the travel size to try out and i love it i like it especially for smoothing out flyaways in like my ponytail or if i'm filming and my hair is down i'll just run this through my hands and wipe it down the top and it helps keep the hair in place but it doesn't leave your hair really like crunchy or hard because it's not a gel it's a cream but it's like a great styling product used to keep everything nice and in place not to mention it smells phenomenal let's touch up my hair but like see it just like flicks everything down really nice i also like to use this in the back of my hair because i have like the most annoying flyaways so any product that can help with that that's not going to be like a crunchy hairspray I'm here for it. All right, then next up, this setting spray is so good. It's the Dialba First Serum Spray. This for my skin in the winter time is amazing. Specifically for me, my skin can tend to get a little dry in the winter time. I still like to use a lot of powders on it because I like to lock my makeup in place, get that smoothing effect. And then with that, I can leave my skin looking extra dry. I like to spray this after I finish all my makeup and it truly will take the most matte looking makeup and make it look so dewy and rich and just melt it all together. If you have oily skin, I would a thousand percent steer clear of this because this is straight up oil. Like if I don't shake this up for a while, you literally see the oil and the water completely separating. But if you have dry skin, if your skin tends to feel very tight after you put makeup on, this is going to be your best friend. I need to get another one of these for my freelance makeup kit because I feel like this will be something essential to have for any of my more mature skin clients or even just clients with very dry skin. Mist on it is also really good and it smells so good. See how that just added the perfect glow? And then next, also essential for the winter time, Laneige. Laneige? Laneige, I believe is actually how you pronounce it. I was saying Laneige for the longest. Sleeping mask. This came through. My lips were starting to crack and almost like bleed at one point. And so I was like, okay, I need a legit sleeping mask to get my lips right. And this one's so good. I got it right within like a couple of nights. So now I don't need to use it as often, but the gloss on it is so pretty that I still will use it. You could literally just use this as a lip gloss. But like I said, if you use it as like your overnight lip treatment and you have dry, crusty, dusty lips, this will have your lips looking right. Then getting into the last couple of products, as you guys know, or you might not know if you don't follow me, but I do my nails at home. I hate going in the nail salon. I'm giving my nails a break now because I hadn't gone like, it was like six months without anything on my nails. So right now they're not done, but typically they are. And these are some essentials that I love for doing my nails at home. On these little UV nails right here in a nice little almond shape. And I just find these super convenient to just glue these on the nails them with gel polish i also like these because they're not too long i don't like too long of nails these i do still have to file them down a little bit but if you have normal size nail beds you won't have to file them down that much i just have really small nail beds but i highly recommend those but whenever i don't feel like painting and going through that whole process i will use press on nails my favorite are the kiss press on nails i'm going to share a trick with you though if you want your press on nails to last two weeks or more the beetles nail glue from amazon again mine is all dirty because i use these quite regularly I'm not going to glue on the press ons with it i literally will just use the kiss nail glue that comes in the set but i like to use this after i press on all the nails I will put a coat of this on top of the press on and cure it in my UV LED lamp. And basically this is gonna make the nails a lot thicker and stronger and it allows them to look more like an acrylic versus just like a cheap plastic press on nails. With that, it's going to make the nail stronger so it will last longer. So you're not gonna pick something up and your nail is so weak that it's gonna pop off. No, this is gonna add like an extra layer of security to the nail so that they will be able to last you like two plus weeks. All right, and then I forgot to mention this, but this light from Amazon, I was actually influenced to pick this up by Brianna Fox. So it's just this really big 
light that I use for to film. It is so lightweight. So this is just like perfect to travel with. If you're a freelance makeup artist, I feel like this is perfect to take with you. And the cool thing is, is that the back has little knobs to adjust the brightness, adjust the Kelvin if you want it more warm, or turn it up if you want it brighter. You could also get battery packs for it if you want it to be cordless. It's so lightweight. So if you're extra and just like to travel with your own personal best lighting, this is so good for that. And this is by the brand Newer. And all right, you guys, that wraps it up for this haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, do not subscribe. Do not give it a thumbs up. I don't want anybody to see how amazing these products are. I'm kidding. I'll have everything linked down below as well as my Amazon storefront, which will have all of my various Amazon favorites. You can also search my storefront, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Janelle Maurice. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, let me know if you guys want to see more Amazon favorites videos too. I feel like so many people make these. I don't get tired of watching them though, but if you guys are, I won't keep making them. I shop at Amazon very regularly though. And when I come across good stuff, I love to share it. So just keep me posted on what are your vibes or feelings toward Amazon videos. Yeah, I love you guys. I hope that you guys have a great week. Subscribe if you want. Don't if you don't want to. Okay, bye. <laughs>